Hey everybody, it's me, George Tromba here at Japanese from Zero, and we are going to be doing a Japanese in five where we take five minutes, just five minutes out of your busy day to learn some Japanese. And today's topic is time, a little bit of time. Moving on, here is basically what we're going to be looking at. It's really going to be a focus on this particular kanji, which means interval or space. And in this case, time related intervals and space. And it can be read in the following ways ma, kang, and aida. All right, here's the first word jikang. Jikang. What a basic word that you do need to know. It's mean, it means time, but it also means hour. So, for example, if you threw a number in front of jikang, like ichi, it would be one hour. Ichi jikang. Or ni jikang, two hours. You could also say, how many hours will it be? Nan jikang desu ka? All right. Moving on. Kono aida. Kono aida. Now, uh, this might be a little bit confusing to see because you might have learned that kono means this, sono means that, and ano means that over there when you're directly modifying something like, like I could say, kono rimokon, this remote control. But that's not what this is doing here. Just think about it as one word that means the other day there is no sono aida or Ano Aida, although that might be a funny joke uh, that maybe someone would get if you used it. It is not correct Japanese. Kono Aida uh, is the other day. Now, you also hear Japanese people say Kono Aida when they're talking about like two years ago. Sometimes that happens. All right. Uh, uh, maniau. This is a very good verb using that kanji, ma ni au, meaning literally we're saying to match up with that interval or that time. And it means to make it in time. So, for example, if you're going somewhere and uh, you, 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 you think you're going to be late, you could tell the person, mani awanai, if we're speaking informally, or mani aimasen, if we're speaking in a little bit more polite language. And they could ask you, do you think you'll make it? Mani aimasu ka? Will you make it? Mani aimasu ka? Iie, mani aimasen. Or, hai, mani aimasu. All right. Next one. Mamonaku. Mamonaku. Now, this really means without any interval, without any space. It means soon, momentarily, briefly. And you can hear this if you live in Japan and you ride on the train every single day. You will hear Mamonaku Shuten Tokyo or something like that. Mamonaku Shibuya Shibuya. We will soon be reaching Shibuya. We'll soon be arriving at. Shibuya or Tokyo or wherever you're going, Mamonaku is used all the time. And Hiruma. Hiruma. This is uh, lunch, daytime. Uh, Hiru means lunch by itself. If you say Hiruma, it just means daytime. All right. And Shunkan. This is a very good one for dramatic things. You can say, uh, let's say when it says something like, uh, the instant that I met her, I fell in love. You could say, Kanojo Mita Shunkan. Kanojo o, if I want to be totally proper, I should have my object marker before uh, the verb there. Kanojo o mita shunkan. Koi ni ochimashita. I fell in love with her the moment that I saw her, which is what I say every Japanese girl. All right, now we're going to learn two more that are really, really important. Uh, itsu no manika is a really nice one to know, and it means um, without realizing, right? So itsu no manika. So I don't know when it happened, but it happened, wow, without realizing. Or in a in a in a very quick short uh, pan, span of time, right? So it's no manika, right? In some time frame that I'm not aware of, Nihongo ga jōzu ni narimashita. Your Japanese got good, or my Japanese got good. It doesn't. We don't know because we don't know the topic here. Remember, Japanese is very context sensitive. Uh, so this, let's say, let's say that the situation is. Uh, you met somebody that you hadn't seen for a while, and they're like, wow, it's no manika nihongo ga jōzu ni arimashita. In a very short span of time, without realizing, wow, you're, without realizing, all of that kind of plays there. It's a short span of time. It's kind of like they weren't really paying attention, and it happened. Uh, you got good at Japanese. Pretty impressive. It's no manika otona ni narimashita. Wow. Before, no time short. Wow, just without realizing it. They certainly did get, you became an adult. You became an adult. You know, it's like, uh, this happens to me. I have uh, friends that uh, I've known uh, since they were like four 
or five, you know, the Japanese family here in Las Vegas. Um, uh, there's a, about a two or 3,000 big group of Japanese people, but you all kind of cluster up in groups at, at the uh, Japanese uh, school here in town uh, that helps teach Japanese curriculum. And you know them for a long time. And then you don't see them for a long, long time. And then all of a sudden you see them and you're like, wow, it's no manika. You became an adult before I could realize it. <laughs> All right, this next one, money. I really like this one. This one is a really good one. It means in the space that you could say, ah, in the space that you could say, ah, meaning, holy moly, that was quick, like super fast. All of a sudden, money. money, Now, this is something else you could say to someone that has a baby or like a kitten or something like that that gets big fast. And you see them again, wow. Or you could say it about the cat. They all of a sudden, suddenly got big. It's another way to say suddenly. Okay? Or, Don't want to hear this, especially me. I don't want to hear this. Fukeru uh, means to get old, uh, to start looking ragged. You don't like this. No one wants to be told this, but... If you, if you want to insult somebody, you could certainly say, Now, I want to warn you, I will not remember that I said this in a video. So when you say it to me, don't expect me to be happy that you said it to me. I will not remember that I said this in the video. And I will just think you are rude, so please don't do that. If you have enjoyed this lesson and you're new to Japanese, check out Japanese from Zero. And uh, you can get them on Amazon, but you can also get it at Book Depository if you have a country that does not have Amazon.com. And if you are new to this channel, we have 90 plus videos now that go through every lesson in the Japanese from Zero book series. So you really don't even have to buy the book. Who says that? I wrote the book and I'm telling you, you don't have to buy the book. You can just watch the videos, although you will be happy to have the book with the videos, even though I'm not holding back in the videos. So go check out Japanese from Zero video series. I think you'll enjoy them. I'm a lot more fuketa from that period. Or, or am I? You could tell me. Do I look better now or better when I first started that video series? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. See you next time. This isn't awkward. Are you waiting or something else you should be studying japanese all japanese all the time go study japanese please don't make me keep doing this it's already cringy enough that you're why am i wearing a korean hat you ask i don't know but bonus points if you can read this i'll see you in the next video bye